Um, this is a unicorn, a mythical creature, or so they say. Um, nothing mythical about Pico not doing its bloody, bloody work, though. I mean, this uh, is a broken piece of light bulb that's been there. It sits on the road outside my building, right? And it's been there forever, I mean. As long as I can remember, I've been here. And at night, it's it's mostly impossible to see, uh, you know, when you're taking this... Uh, see, a few months back, uh, a car just slammed into it at full trot because apparently it jumped the cur curve, uh, curve at the slight, uh, slight turn. And, uh, you know, there's no... Uh, it's, it's pretty dark at night here. And beat the shit out, shit out of that car, the front out of that car at speed, you know. And I'm not sure how she didn't see it, though, probably didn't have uh, her headlights on or something, but stranger things have happened, whatever. So after that happened uh, and the accident, so to speak, uh, I went and got some reflective tape on Amazon and I just kind of stuck it on the rack here. You know, just kind of wound it around the pole, so to speak, and then uh, a few weeks later, I discovered, much to my chuckle surprise, <laughs> someone, someone else actually noticed my receptive tape and uh, put this cute uh, road uh, road cone on top of the on top of the thing. Yep, we we have a uh, a, uh, a you you heard of a dance off, right? Well, this is a uh, a warning a reflective tape cone off a uh, safety off yes yes that's a good name for it a safety off we'll go with that mm -hmm. all right I'm not giving you my A material here today because I'm, I'm a little bit tired and uh, yeah didn't sleep very well so what else and uh, this other thing uh, this, this here this you'll find funny so this is a, uh, the thing is, the nuns next door are building this here. Actually, let me back up for, for a second. So there's a neighbor upstairs in this building where I'm at, and he's in and out of a power chair because he can kind of walk. Well, whatever. So he has a dog, and he got this dog. It wasn't really trained or anything, and it, it's not a service dog. It wasn't a service dog. Uh, and uh, props, props to him. He actually taught the, the goober something. And I, I like that dog. I, I kind of uh, go outside and pet the dog every once in a while. Uh, but the point is that the people around him, they kind of hate this guy. And they're trying to get rid of him because he's loud and the nuisance and, you know, everything else. And they're kind of using this dog as a... A point of complaint, as I said in this, mentioned this in my previous dog video, but whatever. So, the nuns next door hate uh, the dog poop on this patch of land between us and this patch of hospital and the nun repository next door, as well as our building and the parking lot of the uh, hospital. A uh, quick note, uh, our apartment building used to be uh, connected to the uh, hospital next door with like a catwalk and you know the nuns used to live here basically and and now they live next door in a much more modern uh, facility and we live here so we got hand-me-downs from Jesus himself so after this guy told the nuns to basically go suck an egg they put up these uh, nonsensical signs and then they uh, went ahead with uh, the extra, the coup de grace, so to say. If we can't have the grass, no one else will. And this, this move and, uh, you know, they put the cement down on, the, on this patch of grass. So, like my aide is saying, uh, that's, that's a new parking lot for just the top nuns. And I'm like, yeah, it must be on a first name basis with Jesus.